The filming of Awake involved about two weeks of green screen photography inside my garage, following a detailed storyboard that I had sketched out uh, based on the script. For some shots, the Proby puppet was mounted on a rotating base, but most of the time he was locked off in a fixed position and the camera would move around him. For shots involving eye movement, the front half of his head would be separated from his body to allow a puppeteer to operate the eyes. Proby's utility arm was puppeteered with a rod that would be painted out later. The most difficult shot to pull off was probably the final shot in the film where Proby exits the wormhole and flies past camera and towards the earth. It was very tricky because I only had room for about seven feet of dolly movement, so the way that shot was done was pushing towards uh, Proby as he rotated on his base, then gently reversing the dolly as he faced away from camera. The start and end frames were then enhanced with digital animation in post-production to make it appear that he was traveling much further distance. The other big challenge was figuring out how to light Proby. Once I decided that he was going to be surrounded by a colorful dust clouds in space uh, with no obvious sun source, I wanted to light him in a very soft way, but still bright enough to hold a reasonable amount of depth of field on the model. So I ended up using bright but inexpensive LED lights um, from Home Depot diffused by white bed sheets set up in a wedge uh, around the model. The green screen was also lit with several of these same LED strip lights. At the end of the shoot, I did a rough edit with the green screen footage to be confident that I had everything I needed for the film. Then I packed everything away and moved into the long post-production phase. Click the link to see part three.